going for a jog with your mouth closed, spend the first 10 minutes or so at an easy pace. And as you breathe in and out through your nose, take your attention out of the mind onto your breathing and take your attention out of the mind into your body. Jog with every cell of your body. Increase the intensity of your pace as long as you're comfortable maintaining nasal breathing. During the early stages of switching from mouth to nose breathing during your jog, it's likely that your nose will run. So even though your nose is helping to open up by breathing through the nose, you may notice that you have a runny nose, just being a tissue. It's normal. In time, your nose will become drier during physical exercise. After a few minutes of jogging, say 10, 15, 20 minutes into the jog, you will be able to relax into the breath. And if you're adequately warmed up, you can jog at a pace, at a reasonably good pace, whereby you can sustain nasal breathing. The warm up is the key. So during the first 10 minutes, what you could do is even walk with your mouth closed. Bring attention from the mind onto the breath, breathe light, breathe slow, and breathe deep. And then bring in some breath holes. So for example, during your warm up, you could start off taking a normal breath in and out through your nose, pinching your nose and holding, and holding your breath for maybe 10 to 15 paces. Then breathing normal for about a minute or so, and repeating a breath hold for 10 to 15 paces. After the two easy breath holds, bring in four or five stronger breath holds. The stronger breath holds will help improve your oxygen carrying capacity, open up your nose, increase blood flow to the brain, but also, as carbon dioxide increases in the blood, it's causing a right shift of the oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve. More oxygen gets released from hemoglobin to the working muscles. Your warm up is in preparation for more intense physical exercise. And during the warm up, you can bring in breathing practices to help increase oxygen delivery to the working muscles before you work those muscles harder. So during your jog, when you're feeling nice and warmed up, keep relaxing into the body, jog with every cell of the body. Your breathing will find its own rhythm. If your boat score is above 25 seconds, you will find that you will be breathing relatively light during your jog. If your boat score is 15 seconds, you will find that your breathing is going to be quite hard and fast. One objective would be improve your boat score by practicing the breathing exercises during the day. And with a higher bolt score going into your jog, it's easier to sustain nasal breathing. Above all else, enjoy doing your physical exercise, breathing in and out through the nose. Your recovery is much better. You're more likely to enter flow states. There's less trauma to the upper airways. And also you're using your jog to improve your breathing efficiency. Jogging with your mouth closed imposes an extra load onto your breathing in terms of the increase of carbon dioxide. This in turn reduces your ventilatory response to CO2. This is very important because carbon dioxide is the primary stimulus to breathe. And if you have a strong sensitivity to the buildup of carbon dioxide, your breathing will be hard and fast. The degree of breathlessness that you experience during your jog is reflective of your chemo sensitivity to carbon dioxide. But you can reduce that by deliberately doing physical exercise with higher carbon dioxide. This in turn is reducing your ventilatory response to carbon dioxide. Nose breathing will do just that. Continue jogging at a pace whereby you can breathe comfortably in and out through the nose. Of course, your breathing is going to be faster, but you don't want to have labored breathing. It's not about forcing the air in and out of the nose. It's about getting that pace. And when you're nice and warmed up, you will find that pace, let your breathing settle into it and jog at a pace whereby you can sustain nasal breathing comfortably and enjoy it.